guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to continue our discussion on system D and we'll focus on system D units and unit type so in the last video uh, if you remember I told you about that target in system D is something like run level in sysv in it right and just like in run level you had a set of scripts that used to run for that system to be in that particular run level uh, similarly in system D uh, to achieve a target a certain number of service needs to be up and running right so that we can say that system is is in that particular uh, state so if you remember if I go to uh, user lib system D system so I mean all the system D configuration are in this particular directory right and if you want to see in which uh, I mean which is the current default target for you uh, the command to get that was systemctl get default right so you can see current target is multi user multi hyphen user all right uh, so you can compare i mean units to services or process in the traditional sysv init uh, system but units in system d are not limited to just uh, processes i mean they can do a lot more like i told you you can mount a file system you can interact with hardware uh, you can create sockets thing like that right uh, so what let's just do is let's look at the man page for system D and see what all <coughs> uh, unit types are available to us so there are different types of units uh, let's just go down and we'll see so here this is the column So you can see service units which start services I mean this is what I was talking about the processes then there are socket units you can create sockets right targets which we have already discussed target basically is not I mean it's just a group of uh, units uh, which is defined for a particular target right the mount units are there auto mount snapshots and thing like that but in this video we'll be concentrating our discussion only to the service unit because 99.9% .9 of the time you'll be dealing with the service unit yeah 99.9% .9 of time that's how important is service unit I mean you can just give it this uh, man page a read so you'll know what all services are available all unit types are available to you and I hope you understand what unit is now uh, right so let's just exit out of this page let me clear my screen so every uh, service or uh, every unit sorry uh, basically has a configuration file which is called unit file and I've already told you in which directory to find all these unit files right so you can see I'm in user lib system D system and this is where you find all the configuration file pertaining to a particular unit so let's just do an ls hyphen lrt so you can see there's httpd dot service ht cache lean dot service there will be different types of uh, units here uh, so these are all service type of unit let's look at a different uh, unit type I'm looking for is probably mount you can see dot mount so yeah before going forward uh, every unit configuration file will have a post uh, post fix every configuration file would uh, have a post fix or uh, suffix uh, of that service type so if uh, that unit uh, unit is like mount so this unit file will have a dot mount uh, suffix right so this is basically how this uh, this is structured right let me just clear my screen again and now let's just have a look at the anatomy of a I mean of a particular unit file right let's just go into the anatomy of it all right so to I mean see what all services are available to you we'll use the command system CTL list just do a double tab and units so there are two commands first to see active units which is system CTL list units so this will basically show you all the active units which are currently running for this particular target let's just exit out and clear my screen and system ctl list unit files 
and I'm going to give a type also so you can specify a type so type of unit files you want to list and I'm going to basically say that I want to list only service types of unit files and you can see that there are a bunch of uh, basically a complete list of services which are there service files which are there right and you would see that there's a status uh, in front of them which is enabled disabled and static so enabled means that these services would be i mean this would be up when the system boots so this is like something like check config when you do in the sysv init system disabled means that these services would not be started at the boot time and static basically they don't have any status i mean they and they're basically the service uh, services which on which the other services depend so that is why they don't have any enabled or disabled status because they are the service on which the other services which need to be enabled or disabled depend right so let's just exit out so if i uh, so let's just yeah i was talking about to uh, see the anatomy of a, a unit file so let me just clear my screen and i'm going so i have a process running which is system ctl status httpd so this is the new command to check the status of any service uh, if you remember in sysv init systems the command was service uh, xyz status right but in this it is system ctl status and then the service name that's how basically you check the status of any service so you can see this service is running and as you can see the system ctl gives you a lot of information compared to the service uh, command in the sysv init system right so you can see it is telling from where it is loaded it is active it also gives you the pid right uh, something about the c groups so not very important and you can even get more logs by doing an hyphen l so it will give you more logs right all right so let's look at the service file for this so system so we don't actually do a need to go into the directory and then cat it we can do a system ctl cat and httpd dot service so you can see this is the service file it has basically sections right different sections uh, so a service which can be enabled or disabled has uh, uh, basically three sections first section is the unit which defines some metadata about this particular unit right and if you see this after this basically indicates the ordering so after means that this service would come up or would come after only when the network target the remote file system target nss lookup dot target have started then only this uh, service would start right all right and this tells you about the documentation page yeah all right this is the section which is important so basically this has a heading of uh, the type of unit we are dealing with so in this we are dealing with uh, unit type uh, service type unit so that is why the section is service type is notify so i'll tell you what different types different types of services are there right this basically tells about uh, an environment file which you want to load uh, before you start the service this is basically the command to start the service this is the command to reload the service this is a command to kill the service or stop the service right and at the end this is basically what uh, is required for a service to be enabled or disabled so any service which does not have an install section it cannot be enabled or disabled so we'll look at any static service and you will see that it does, it will not have any install section that is why they are static and st install section basically defines that where is this service wanted so you can see it's very clear that this service is wanted by multi user dot target right? so yeah this is the anatomy this is basically how a service file looks like so now let me show you i mean a, a static service basically and show you that it, this static service would not have any install section so it, that is why it cannot be enabled or disabled so let me just do a system ctl uh, list 
unit files right so let's pick uh, any status uh, static uh, service let's pick this one let me clear my screen system ctl cat so you can see that this is actually a very small unit file and this is just defining a service column and it is telling how to start it right there's no install there's no, nothing much over here right that is why this is a static service coming to the type of services uh, so you can you saw that just go up a little that httpd was a type of uh, where it is notify so we have different types of services uh, so the first is a simple type uh, all right so that basically means that start whatever is given in the start uh, line right then there's a forking type of service which uh, basically tells to i mean basically tells system d that uh, the parent uh, process would exit and it will be the child process that would continue right then other type is notify so this basically noti send a notification to the system d that it has finished starting up right okay the next type is uh, one shot so basically you use one one shot type of service when you have uh, a command or a job that you just need to run once right uh, and then there's the last which is idle so idle basically means that the service would actually start when all the other services or units have started right so i would put a, a, a better or a, a detailed description of all these types of services in the description so you can just have a read or you can just check the man page you can find the description over there as well all right so i hope i haven't missed anything let me just go over and see if i have missed anything so for this video i think i should stop over here because uh, i thought i would complete the system d in two videos but it looks like that i would need to go and create another video because i haven't told you how system d builds uh, it's basically dependencies and how you can create a system d file a unit file right so we'll cover that in the third uh, section of this uh, basically course so yeah i think this is it for this video guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel before going off and yeah thank you for watching